Two details in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. A Charlestown man is under investigation for allegedly taking headstones that still had the names of veterans on them. And now a federal document indicates he bragged about it and told investigators he knew the granite was supposed to be destroyed. From the South County Mobile Newsroom, Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is in Charlestown. According to this affidavit, this federal investigation was launched after two state employees went to state police about their co-worker allegedly taking the headstones. The Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Exeter is owned by the state, but the headstones are provided by the VA. When a headstone is damaged or needs to be replaced, we're told the law requires the old headstone to be destroyed to protect the honor of the veteran's name. These pictures from the affidavit were taken in the backyard of Kevin Maynard, who's a cemetery employee. Federal investigators found 202 of the granite markers in various places in the yard. The document states stones with the names of veterans still on them were used etched side down as the floor for a makeshift carport and a shed. Other headstones were found face up. And according to the affidavit, Two other cemetery employees told investigators Maynard, quote, bragged about removing granite gravestones from the cemetery and using them at his home. No one answered the door at Maynard's house when we knocked to get his side of the story. No word from the state about the status of Maynard's job. Records indicate he was paid about $50,000 a year. And tonight on Eyewitness News, we'll tell you more about what Maynard said about the tombstones investigators say they found in his backyard. With the Target 12 investigators in Charlestown, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.